because we're playing with Citadel against Naga Demons and Dark Iron Dwarves. <laughs> no, not your items. But we are, for the very first time, playing on a different laptop. The screen is about half the size of what I'm used to. The keyboard is also very small for my massive hands. Um, but yeah, hopefully the FPS will hold. I can type on this... Laptop, but we'll see what happens. What? This cannot be right. <laughs> cannot be. Can we actually play the game now? I mean, we are playing on an A5, uh, i5 process instead of an i7. So hopefully it's gonna stay like that. We are playing with some filthy snakes, some stinky demons, dark bars. We'll see what happens, we'll see. Also, the sound is extremely loud for me here. The hair items. Oh my god. And he's playing with all the corruption. Which is basically a anti-hero ability. If we can reach late game. If we can spam heroes like crazy. Then we should be in really good shape. But with Night Elves and the... Demons on the side lanes. I'm expecting the worst. It's gonna be hell for us here today. And I'm gonna play defensively. The only luck that we might have is that the demons and maybe even Naga are gonna be utterly useless late game against Dark Iron Dwarf, so maybe they will focus them harder than they will focus me. We can always hope. Yeah, it's a brand new laptop, so yeah. I'm surprised with the FPS. No stop so far, but look at... Oh my god, it's already dropping. <laughs> oh dear, dear. The walls get kept in neutral building. Eh. Don't tell me he's up against me. Nope, he isn't. But he's probably not gonna wait with that for all too long. Ooh, Ramsey change. Why would any dwarf go for the mid lane first? That's very, very risky. Our sacred world is Let's zoom out. Ah, yes, my FPS is already getting back to the normal levels it should be. <laughs> but we had fun as long as it lasted. Get this one up. We need to be careful that we do not have a some massive dwarf and wave from the lane now face. But for now, so far so good. And I don't expect them to push through. But you never know what those stinky dwarves are up to. Oh my god, I'm not used to being purple. But I know that every game we played with the purple color has ended in victory for us. So I have some good hope. Let's go for the parasites because we are a nasty little parasite ourselves. Check the options. Sound effects are pretty high. Yes, we can lower that. Yeah, I'm so used to using special uh, places on my old keyboard because the laptop was ages old. Ah, he upgraded here. That's a bit mean. It's also Tito mid lane. But overall, I have to say a fairly decent start here for us. We're not dealing with incredible pressure and... Yeah, we probably want to upgrade our units. 
more so than just upgrading the lane. If we can upgrade the lane, we will definitely do it. Normally with hero items, you would like to control the middle lane with a hero. But let's see that it has only two heroes. I would find it extremely risky to send a hero middle lane. Because you might suffer too much on the side lanes. And I'd rather be alive. Research complete. Yeah, but normally on my keyboard was the one. And that's the... Should guy usually use for the castles? It's actually where the two is, so I keep pressing the barracks while I want to use the castle. Something I just have to get used to. Definitely in control there. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I find it a little bit hard to see where the enemies are and where I am. Now I got in total control of the middle lane. Let's end this reign. But I think so far, so good. Got off for a decent early start here. He's playing with melee to placement. I'm not entirely certain what the Illidari Huntresses are capable of. But I assume this is why he's controlling his middle lane despite the. Was me tier 2 here a lot faster than the Naga was. But thankfully we have Parasite. And a Fun of Mana and a Lump Mill. That's gonna be perfect for us for the end game. Question just is, can we reach the end game in good style? It's not gonna be easy. But for the city that Slow and steady is the way to go. And then we might even be weaker than the Dark Iron Dwarfs late game. It's gonna be a very interesting battle. He bought a lot of him, so if this is going to be a counter attack and we can save the soon, he will counter attack us. It could become a massive, massive contact. Oh my god, this wave is not spawning a good time here for us. This is gonna be very, very costly. Demons, very powerful early on. The orb of corruption, they are just entirely crazy. So I'm gonna buy every unit we can for now. Well, not every unit, obviously. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Hopefully this will help me to get a... Contact slowly. Oh my god. Yeah, we need to activate the cooldowns. Oh my god, this is absolutely crazy. But as long as we can stay alive, we should be okay later on. Let's kill those Diabolists with their fast healing ability. It can actually prevent us from buying to even more units, and that would be one wolf. Let's just zoom in a little bit closer. These we're gonna be able to see which units are friends, which are our enemies. Dear lord. Oh my god, look at that. That is unforgivable. We're really numbers for cooldowns. Let's go. Oh my god, look at her way. <clears throat> what the hell? Minaga is snowballing like crazy. Like the counter attack here is going to be imminent. Do we need a tier 3 barracks here? What are the Illidari Huntresses cable of? If anyone knows, then I'd be very, very happy if you guys can let me know. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, just like the demons, the wave is fighting over here, so... Yeah, this is gonna be extremely costly. Oh, look at them swarming the middle lane. Look at that difference in score. Oh, yo, 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 yo. yo. 
This is egg bought me some valuable seconds. I think we have to buy everything we can. And we might still be losing this man. Good old drone. Such a good boy. If we can go tier 3 here, then that would be lovely. Kill him, please. I hate going tier 3 early on, but... Oh my god, I don't like the alter alternative here. I think we're good now. But we might be falling very far behind on Ninaga. Our tier 3 will inevitably feed him. He might be going for a hero. But we have to stay alive. That's the most important thing. But we might actually have gotten ourselves the toughest early game race in the game. We'll have to learn a new uh, how to play a new left up. <laughs> Let's work on our uh, regeneration. He's left on the kids though. No surprise there. He's getting all the reports he needs from mid lane as well. So this contact will be absolutely massive and he might be on 6-5 units when he attacks me. So we might even need a tier 3 barrier at the top. Oh my god. And he was the host, so that's incredible. That means Naga's gonna get fed up like crazy. Actually getting the dwarves, controlling middle lane, fighting tier 2 here against my tier 3. Well, we kind of have to work together with demons to stop the Naga type. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a level 2 Hive Node. Just to get some tower upgrades going. Let's go. Hero top would be ideal, but I think we're gonna be lacking those resources. But if we essentially go tier 3 here, say 3 3 on units, and he's gonna be like 6 6, and he's gonna be 6 6, we're gonna be falling so far behind, and then it's already game over. Hey, the Ralph! <clears throat> but yeah, Nag will have to deal with a big wave. That's the only good news, but he might simply use a hero or a tier 2 spell. So the enemies will make defending a bit easier. Let's get one drone in front of the barracks and then some brood mothers to get some extra eggs up there. And it's probably still gonna take ages before we get rid of these filthy demons. So maybe hero here scaring the prophet. I still struggle greatly, especially if he's going around the world. Some of those demons still hitting the barracks, that's filthy. Oh, he went to free, okay, that's a small relief. We should be good at the top, he's gonna get some. Worthless items. <laughs> oh dear, dear. No, and but we are actually testing out a new laptop, so we're a really small one, which is probably not ideal for streaming. But we're playing with air items. A lot of people love to see those. 
go for the huge claws. Oh, he's getting reports from the lane. That's good for him. So far behind the score. But look at this beautiful mess. <laughs> oh, he even went to four. Didn't. Oh my god, even a hero. What the hell's wrong with you? He likes to kill me, doesn't he? This must bug him a little bit. Just a little bit. He's gonna be fine and the contact is gonna be insanely deadly. Especially since we need to defend with a... Uh, battle Guard. We will go straight for Nagentis. And lock into him. Still dealing some good uh, hits to the barracks, by the way. He was by. He was by. At least we have enough to parasites. So we might have to use the Scarab Swamp to survive. I probably need to save up for hero now because he's gonna be in so quickly here with a level 10 hero. Probably when he attacks me. A massive force. Tier 4 barracks against tier 3 barracks. Superior youth upgrades. Scarum. Yeah, it's probably gonna lose it badly. He's 6 5? 6 3. Oh my god. Although we can probably throw the Scarum here if we want to. <sighs> decision, decision, de decisions. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Yeah, my head is hurting from the small screen here. <laughs> I feel like my mobile is bigger than my laptop here right now. It's crazy. What's we'll scare him? Oh my god, he even went tier 3. So we are one barracks level lower here and one barracks level lower there. That's just incredible. That's just what we love to see. So we kinda need a tier 2 spell bottom and we need a tier, tier 2 spell top. Loving my life. Chainmail. He's not gonna live forever. Not sure. Maybe we can get reports from the middle lane. <clears throat> can he survive long enough so that we can use the two for both lanes? It's a father's right to dream, isn't it? Cheers! <clears throat> I'm tasting enough stings. I'm not getting any red rex near at all. The free should be very helpful for Satura. Scaring bad to survive it. Yeah, stay away from that poor hive node. Yes! Still live, boys. Still live. Hey, the Masipi. I don't see how we can perform well with this laptop, but for now, <laughs> it's easier to play the game with FPS than it would be with a bigger screen. So far, so good, I would say.
But yeah, we just have to learn. There is quite quick up there. Let's get a spike carapace, maybe a hot exoskeleton, maybe a web. Skukuchi for the evasion would be good. Rose spit. This filthy guy is 6 6, man. How the hell are we supposed to keep up with that? Hey, that Master Raven and the Sun. <sighs> yeah, we do not have a monitor. <laughs> I was just at laptops. Yeah, right now, Burn, but Sutura can actually deal a massive blow to the Rage Fire. I would love to get the free hero kill here. This is getting quite tanky. Hopefully, no ring of regeneration next. Tattoo spell. Okay. Uh, we can't afford to lose Karam here, though. And I feel like we have a rather large weight, so I think we're gonna be fine. And the counter attack here from the demons, we might not be capable of sending here from the top towards him. Oh! <laughs> Good lord. Ah, oh, she did not get the hero kill. That's shame. Let's go on cross spits. Probably want to save up some good money so that we can send the hero top. But look at him, 6 7. Oh my god, why would you leave? Maybe disconnect, or maybe we'll lose the barracks within the next uh, 10 seconds. That would know enough. Maybe it's just this point how Rage Pipe performed. Research complete. Either way, it is a shame to see people leave early on in the battle. So that's just basically Naga destroying him completely and then destroying him completely. And then probably he's gonna overrun us. But I'm not one of those weaklings that just give up. Never. Never. He's gonna be very annoying to defend against. Scaram's not gonna die at the right moment, so we probably need to steer ahead and scare him from middle to bottom. He's stingy. Fine for me. Fine for me. Stira should have easy time dealing with Rage Pie. There we go. But this. Oh my god. The button's gonna be very difficult for us. But we'll still die here. Yeah. The old corruption, you never know, man. He's going tier 3. <sighs> that means it's time for us to assume the worst. Uh, if we could go tier 3 and send special on the bottom, then that would be a nice play. But we do not have the gold for that. Stir is not gonna die, the right mode to, to be sent bottom. So, do we want Scarum middle lane? And fight us off with tier 3 barracks, or do you want Scarum and tier 4 barracks? I think the latter. Ralph, this feels painful already. Oh, just 11 more seconds. Those Illidari Huntress are killing us today. It's better than. Go into a um, support set and not another tank set.
Uh, look at the diff. He's gonna look like 1,000 score higher than us. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so horrible. Oh my sweet Jesus. We're so doomed. Let's hope he's not gonna be. Oh my god, he could go for nuke sooner or later. Let's get this to tip up because this wave is gonna be fighting over here. Means three seconds less for the next uh, wave to arrive, and yeah. Always spawning the worst time for us. We're not gonna be winning this by nuking the Naga anyway, so I think it's going to be a fine call. Russ, if he actually wants to use the to spell here. But let's try it with tier 1. Mr. Tour is having fun. Come on, Scaram, get it from the barracks. Good boy. Might take eight before we get rid of him. Why is he going for the barracks? Oh my god. <clears throat> Try to get ourselves, ourselves in bad shape with the barracks. And then Naga just completely ignores Scaram in the army. And it's the spawning pool. That's bad luck. If you want Snook. Why is he still hitting this? What the hell's wrong with the game? That's so messed up. Aggro can be funny at times in this game. But this was not funny. Brawler. Yeah, we could probably incept a single... Research complete. Autumn web from him. Although he's also prone to nooks. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, get a little bit of extra regeneration. Oh my god. Crime is burning him down. Somehow still alive here. That gun is slowly dying to the Naga, that's crazy. Demons actually <clears throat> decide to go aggressive against me here. That's sad. We also need a level 4 fortifications, by the way, if he wants to look so. We have some time to recover. We kinda get a hero here at the top. But we will have to be very, very cautious. We'll probably have to buy all of the units. I am I was destined to You're kidding me. Well, that's not good news for us. Absolutely wicked. How many units have good enough? What do we need, Tura? Let's back up. Look at how scorn. Oh my god. 
Oh no, we were. I was think we were green. We're usually green. We're purple. It's still not looking good, man. It's absolutely horrendous. At least we can send a double hero here, and we will probably need both of them. This time, ground wrist did not die in the middle lane yet. Yeah, aggro's not going well for me today. <laughs> I'm officially the smallest screen. Oh lord. Yeah, I was considering going for tier 3, I have know, but I need to survive a Shara first. Probably not a tier 2 spell. Research. Look at him being 40. Nasty, nasty, nasty. High poison could work. But we're getting no help at all. <clears throat> While dealing with a snowballing Naga. That's throwing everything against me and so the display. Well, hopefully Shara is gonna get a little deeper here. Thank you. But stay away from the barracks. That's all I'm asking you to do. Let's get up to neurotoxin. <clears throat> Sad thing is, it's not just a special unit. It's also his army being much stronger than mine. The fact that we could save Satura for the bottom will make dealing with her a little bit easier at least. Let's get another toxic finale. Yeah, just send me the stinky mage again. Yeah, just get the gold from this. It's not bad at all for our, anyone else. Oh my god. He's so far ahead. Yeah, Sippy doesn't know where to be. <laughs> he's, he's not gonna be able to look yet. Are you freaking kidding me? Ah. Seriously, man. This aggro today. It's ridiculous. Let's get this one up. Yeah, this barracks is not gonna be healthy at the right moment. Let's get another poison in. Probably the only thing we can do. Some evasion, maybe do the web. And he might be sending us another special unit. What do we need? Room braces for the assassin set. Unnecessary. Let's just sell it. An absolute stinker of a game. Maybe we need to go tip for here so that we can defend Rage Fire decently well. But if we do, we might not have the money to send special on the bottom. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Upgrade finished. Yeah, I think that's the best thing we can do here, really. Try to survive without sending a special uh, hero top. Because we might be needing that from the middle. Oh, he's not sending a big guy. It seems like he's going for double hero to us. Okay. 
some reports from the lane. That's lovely. Look at Tico. Guys, yeah, truly going for it. You know what? Let's just go tier 3 mid lane. I think Nag is also tier 3. You know what? Let's just send her out. What do we need? Rune braces would give us a duplicate tank, which would not be good. Let's sell it. Both heroes here sadly survive, but the Naga is bleeding a little bit. Look, look in the gentis. What a guy. What is up to level 3? I have no We're not gonna get a gold sender hero here at the bottom, I fear. At least no special unit, but we might be able to get an agents from here to there. Let's get it up. Getting me. Yeah, that's some true love indeed. Upgrade finish. Truly messed up, but we might at least be able to get him to help like before he attacks us. So defending bottom is still gonna be our top priority. Me stacking up though. So maybe should go for emergency repairs. Let's hope he's not gonna try to be funny. And ignoring my units again, go for the barracks. Zero will left quite out on the end heroes. Ah, oh, they got that support that we were hoping for. Beautiful, beautiful. You can definitely say that Satura has been extremely good for us today. We can get Scarum at the top. We have no power. Good girl, good girl. Assassin would be wonderful. We need to look at our top first. <laughs> no, no, no. I was pressing too. Are you kidding me? Well, if once again nuclear. Yeah, that, that's the issue that we're probably facing the most right now. Come, little ones. <clears throat> it's that the keys are not working out well for us. The fact that I should survive this. I might be able to buy some time. But the snowballing and die harding Naga. That's just wonderful. The eye not really do us any favors either. Hopefully he will survive against Kazak. It's gonna be really close. I think he's dead. We 
should be good for the counter stack. I am Ashura. I was destined to rule. But how Ness would be if we actually lose this game thanks to Nooks. That would be very unlucky indeed. And Kazak here. Just incredible. I would like the twin brothers here as well, but I don't think we will have the gold. We need only this, and then we can start looking. Should be careful not to lose this at 83 barracks, though. If it would send me another Kazakh, I'm gonna cry. It's only about time before we lose those towers. At least until this barracks has been destroyed. Right. This is some good news. My big guy. Number two. Winning is winning. Someone will feel some pain. You might send her from the middle barracks to us. He totally had this one coming. I also could have waited, but let him feel the pain there for a little while. Let's get this one, so we're gonna be able to withstand a double nuke from him. Then we have to get close to army strength for sure. Let's hope he's gonna send Kazak middle lane. I was thinking about um, not using it so that they will gain more levels. <laughs> I think that's fine. Let's get the, uh, the arrow units. And yeah, we might be behind army-wise. Oh, look at the gold now. But I think we might actually be fine in this battle. Especially if we can destroy the Middleberg soon. Another shadow would not be good for us though. I mean, that's not surprising at all. Ah, they will hit us at the middle lane. You know what? <clears throat> Let's be crazy. Let's be crazy. If we can get pressure on him from middle lane soon. Oh, <laughs> he's going long lane. Oh, I love that. <clears throat> and get the hero kill. Look this one down. Then he totally gets. What he deserves. 
down the line. Looks like Eros might go mid lane though. Oh my god, one more hit please. We can definitely use the... Grey Blizzard. That would definitely be great for us if you do it. Ah, not on the barracks. That's a shame. Let's just use the... One accidental blow would be lovely. Yeah, we have to be careful at the top. Next share will be sent from here, so... We do have a little bit of time. But they will break the demons. They might break me here as well. Unless we can accidentally destroy this. <laughs> Come on, scare him. Just smack the barracks. Yeah. Uh, we did not destroy it yet. If only the Great Blizzard did hit it, man. Life would have been so much better for us. Hopefully we can get the hero kill. I would just love to get the gold for it. They will now attack me through the middle lane. Oh boy. That's going to be a pain indeed. Rob Monster to our left side. Scarum and the Twin Emperor top. With all this axe, we might be strong on this lane. We do get more pass thing on uh, Damien Naga. That's at least a small relief. Maybe one web could work. Let's have a gun. He can nook me soon, so we cannot take any single hit to the base. <laughs> I'd rather have the Naga at the middle here. Although the Naga could hurt us from the bottom, but lose these two towers. It's the least of our concerns. We might go there for a little while anyway. <laughs> They're already spawning. Oi, oi, oi. Life's just so slow, man. If it was just 20 seconds slower, it would be, have been even better. That Grey Blizzard. Backlore is crazy. The stem. Getfield's not getting redirected away from the barracks here. And he's probably gonna be hitting it here. Oh my god, that's so unlucky. What's wrong with the aggro today? Absolutely hideous. Share still looking good. A bit too good for my taste.
Big no Feklor. Dura could survive it all though. Man, I feel this aggro has been totally against us today. If we had the Great Bliss spell hitting this, the barracks would have been done for. If we did not have the Naga zooming on this barracks, if he was not zooming on this barracks, we would be fine. FPS still looking okay though. That's the good news. Should be able to come stack here at the top at least. Yeah, next chair will kill us because it's gonna take like 10 minutes before we can send the next heroes here. We're not gonna be destroying this barracks, we're not gonna be destroying that barracks. Could try to go for magic room. But we're losing to a snowballing Naga. And the AI not helping us out at all. Exactly the opposite. And a uh, funky aggro. Maybe this is not the official version, I don't know. I don't know. But overall, we had a cool game. Hey, Kelsion, nice to see you there. Hey, we can be lucky here. But if aggro works once against you, you're often always doomed against it. Spin to win, please, Pack and Blash. No, that's just not what needs to happen. Yeah, we're done for. <laughs> Scaram died, didn't he? Yep. Yeah, we have no heroes to defend this. <laughs> if we only had that one Grey Blizzard. Well, it'll be fun, it'll be fun. FPS looks okay in this game. You can use another other weapon if he wants to. Probably have to use the T2 spell by every unit we can, and then we're st still probably done for. Uh, Shame. Research complete. <laughs> but that's once again no shame in losing it to nukes in a snowball. Oh, of course, hit them with the pesky silence. The aggro has been completely worth. Yeah, we cannot redirect him away from this.
Oh boy. Yeah, I feel that Calcium, but generally the laptop was not running well anymore. This way we'll do it for us, man. Regardless, this was an okay game. FPS stayed quite alright. With Dog was in it, with Silitit in it. Um, but it's just, it might be a really difficult laptop to play on. We really have to get used to the... Uh, Smaller size keyboard and screen. Couldn't really respond to his nukes because we were pressing this <laughs> key two instead of key one. But yeah, it's been a good test. It's been a good test. Hopefully, the recording will come out quite fine with HD performance. And we're playing with Sirte, man. Fair dip race. So overall, overall, quite happy with the performance here today. And like I said, I don't know what happened with the aggro. Maybe it is a... Uh, one of those hacked versions. Because this is not the one from Patreon that we always play on. Or Walk Free Champions. We just randomly downloaded it on that map, which is a little bit risky. Because, yeah, it was really questionable how those harpoons and the nag units kept in the barracks instead of units. I'm not saying this guy hacked it, absolutely not. He was not even the host. But in some hacked versions, the game and aggro works a lot different. This could have been one of those. Maybe not. But it felt worth it. <laughs> but yeah, very, very lovely battle, I would say. Uh, thank you, Svets. 